Yoder Smokers is excited to announce a new way to personalize your YS480 or YS640 competition cart pellet grills. In this video, we'll show you how to install the wrap on your Yoder Smokers pellet grill at home. When you receive your wrap, take it out of the box and lay them on a flat surface at a room temperature of 70 degrees or more for 4 to 6 hours. Your wrap kit will include one front panel, one back panel, one hopper end panel, one chimney end panel, and two hopper trim panels. Laying the pieces out beforehand will make the wrap more pliable for easy installation. When you're ready to start the installation, gather the following tools. A 7 16th inch wrench, a 3 8 inch wrench, a 5 16th inch wrench, a 5 32nd inch Allen wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. Before putting the wrap on the comp cart, you'll want to remove all hardware and signage to allow the wrap to set completely flush on the cart. Begin by using the 3 8 inch and 7 16th inch wrenches to remove the six bolts. Using the 5 32nd inch Allen wrench and the 7 16th inch wrench, remove the Yoder Smokers placards from both sides of the comp cart. Locate the power cord extension on the hopper. Unplug the male end of the power cord, then use the Phillips screwdriver and 5 16th inch wrench to remove the power socket and pull the plug gently through the comp cart. Some comp carts do not have the male power cord extension. Instead, there are three wires coming from the hopper. If this is how your power source is configured, take a look at this diagram for assistance. Once the power receptacle, signage, and bolts are removed, wipe the surface of the comp cart clean to remove any dust or dirt. We recommend water and a microfiber towel. This will further assure that the wrap will adhere securely to the cart. For best results, you'll want to assemble the wrap in an area where the temperature is over 60 degrees. If you must assemble in an environment with a lower temperature, you can use a hair dryer to warm up the temperature of the wrap and the cart until each is warm to the touch. Use caution so the wrap is not overheated. Start with the front panel by aligning the top edge of the magnetic wrap to the top edge of the comp cart. Smooth the wrap to the contours from top to bottom, ensuring all bolt holes are lined up. Repeat this process with the chimney end panel. Install the back panel of the wrap on the back of the comp cart. Starting from the top, smooth out the wrap to fit the contours of the cart. Be sure that all holes line up. Take the hopper trim panel and center it on the top side of the cart next to the hopper. Do the same with the back hopper trim panel. Install the hopper end wrap panel by lining up the top edge of the wrap with the top edge. Be sure that all holes line up. Now that all sections of the wrap are in place, check to see that the wrap is smooth and well fitted. Locate the opening for the power receptacle. Insert through the opening of the comp cart. Plug the cord into the hopper, then secure the power socket using the Phillips screwdriver and 5 16th inch wrench. If your comp cart has the three wire configuration, use this chart for wire installation. Use the 5 32nd inch Allen wrench and the 7 16th inch wrench to secure the Yoder Smoker's signs onto both sides of the comp cart. Use the 3 8 inch wrench and the 7 16th inch wrench to secure the six remaining bolts. Your new wrap is now fully installed and you're ready to get cooking.